Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and uh, in today's daily dose of a tarot we're going to check into 26th of uh, May 2020 second and what kind of a message the cards are going to have for all of us and with that said it should uh, any one of uh, you guys is interested in a personal reading with me you can always uh, check uh, the description down below uh, where you're going to see a uh, link to my website uh, through which you can see a full list of my services and as well their pricing so with that said the first card for the day that is going to be the queen of uh, the queen of pentacles that is okay uh, followed by the second one which is the womb so we do have uh, the two of cups that's a huge one. And the final card for the day. I don't like this one. Uh, we do have the Eight of Wands. So let, let, let me hold them a little bit better. So these are uh, these three cards. And uh, it's, a, it's a huge day of, uh, let's put it that way, wake up call so to speak uh, that is uh, because of um, of the elemental dignity that forms in between the queen of pentacles and uh, the two of cups now this uh, th th this is a person however it could also represent us and uh, should that be a someone else then definitely uh, we are talking about a person here whom they haven't saw you in that way before but now they truly see you as a potential now if i have to go with the two of cups and take its generic meaning of love then that is a, a potential for a love development moving forward okay but if uh, but as we are going general here uh it's a it's a potential of unity but most likely with a love incentive it is that we do have with the two of cups even if it is about a business unity still it has a emotional attachment to it which kind of like it could lead to a law it could lead i'm sorry to a uh, a love development moving forward into the future as these cards stands but it also could represent us and that is the moment um, where within this day we are we we are going to understand where that love can come from okay whom with or yeah whom with that love could come from and um the thing about the whole development here that is because with the queen of pentacles that is a card showing that either one or we are going to understand where truly the potential lies a and uh, these two cards they are a passive friend okay and as passive friends it means that that is there to stay it's always gonna linger there even if you don't even if that's you okay and you don't take on this uh this potential that potential is always gonna linger there it's always gonna be on the back of your head poking you up and until you don't let's say give it a go it's always going to you know these kind of like situations where it, it eats you from within right what if what if it could it could work out what if you know with my colleague we could be something more what if you know with this i don't know friend we could be something or whatever it is or or with that even stranger although i don't think that this is this is about stranger because it's pretty clear queen of pentacles you you know the person we know the person already okay uh, it's just that is uh in this day thursday um the the perspective is beginning to change that is the message so from a completely generic whether friend whether colleague the perspective starts to change with a emotional incentive let's not say it romantic although it's pretty clear here with emotional incentive and now the elephant into the room it is uh this uh this elemental dignity that we have the queen of pentacles with the eight of wands passive neutrals so what's the problem you may ask 
to find the way. So the potential is there. Problem is how is to be manifested. That's the real issue. That is the question that we have to ask ourselves and find a way to do it. There is definitely a way. Okay. And um, I can tell it to you right now. And I will, by the way. Uh, in order to overcome the eight of uh, the eight of wands, as per the other elemental dignity, in order to develop this potential, we have to put our pride on the shelf and um, shyness as well, and make our due. That that is that is what it is required. As the other side needs to make their due as well. It's it's kind of like it's a it's a 50 50 contribution so unless we don't see the other side to start making their contribution we shouldn't start ours but as soon as we see that they do even or kind of like it's, it's more of a affinity okay it's more of a like uh we need to see intentions the contribution should happen simultaneously but the intentions they may come with a little bit of a discrepancy here and so yeah when we see intentions that is the potential now with the eight of wands there probably is not exactly the perfect one we wanted okay doesn't mean that it cannot be beautiful it's a hidden potential that lies there okay hopefully you me whomever is listening this one uh, develops it because remember it's always gonna linger out there and so with that said guys this is the message for uh today hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it i hope we don't screw this one up and uh, we're gonna see each other next time until then bye